Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel, everybody. You got Lanny and Bert here, the Dividend Diplomat. We are pumped today to talk to you about some of the expected dividend increases that are coming your way in February 2021. Smash that subscribe button, give Bert and Lanny a nice blue thumbs up. Got it? Got it. All right. I think Bert. we're good here. We talk all the time on our channel about dividend increases and why we love them. We are dividend we growth them. investors through and through. Keyword in that through. growth. 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 We love seeing your dividend increase, and that's why we continue to talk about them all the time in our YouTube channel. What's your favorite part of dividend My increases? My favorite part of dividend increases is knowing that it's coming, but not knowing that it's coming. It's like, oh, they're going to announce today. Why haven't they announced today? Are they going to announce today? Oh, they yeah. announced today. And then sometimes you get the, why didn't they announce today? Or they did what? Only on Ferbert stocks. Well, we both own at and <laughs> <laughs> No, but honestly, February is an exciting month. There's really like two big months, and I call it February and April. Yeah. They're just two monster months for dividend increases. Yeah. So I hope you're strapped in because there are some big companies that are set to juice up your dividend income on a go forward basis. Yeah, and we are not talking about any community banks here that we've been hyping up in our last few videos with some of our purchases. We are talking big time dividend kings. The big kahunas. Dividend aristocrats. We're talking Stone Cold, The, the Rock. The Cloud. Hogan's even, might even be making Hogan, a comeback. Triple H, The Rock, because this is, goes out for the millions. And millions of dividend investors out there, guys. This is time to get ready. And Bert, we gotta start here because yeah. there are huge companies here, dividend kings and dividend aristocrats. Again, a dividend aristocrat, 25 plus years of consecutive dividend increases. That's year after year for 25 plus years. And a dividend king is 50. So think about that. They're How old are you watching this right now? their increased streak could be longer than your mm -hmm. age. And trust us, we can see the average age analytics here on some of our videos. A lot of you are definitely younger than dividend kings out there. So think about that. These companies have increased their dividend for longer than you've been alive. And more than likely, that's a good indication that they'll do it for at least that much longer. Yep, so let's, I think Lanny, it's time, let's just go. Let's let's do this, because number one on this list is an iconic brand. It we are talking. Iconic. It is when you Warren think of- Warren Buffett. Yeah, when you think of dividend investing, this is usually one of the first stocks that comes out of people's mouths. Who is it, Lanny? It's one of Burt's legendary ones from our wrestling video. It is KO, the knockout, Coca-Cola. Yeah, they are. That does bring me back to when I did the Stone Stone Cold impression. And again, Coca Cola currently yielding three point three percent, and they yeah. are a dividend king. They, they are have, crowned the champ. Yeah, they have increased their dividend for fifty eight consecutive years. Fantastic streak right there. Their five year average dividend growth rate is four point four five percent. They're never known for high dividend increases. It's just stable, consistent, yeah. slow and steady. Again, a pretty legacy type of business model, but hey, with all of the drinks, the carbonated waters, the juices, I mean, Coke really has a lot of deep brands, the water, yeah. I mean, I think they own Dasani, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, yeah. And again, they currently pay a quarterly dividend of 41 cents, Bert. Yeah. So what is your hunch right now? What is Coke gonna do this month? I'm gonna go 5%. Oh, wow. But, yeah, they're gonna slightly eke out their average growth rate. What about you? I'm gonna say less than 3%. They're going one cent increase. Okay, well, interesting. One cent increase here, a little more ambitious pandemic, here. Pandemic increase, I'm giving it to them. Yeah, so this will be fascinating when we just roll right into Hulk Hogan here with dividend stock number two what? on the expected dividend increase. Please listen up, brother. Pepsi is back, baby. <laughs> Ticker symbol PEP, another dividend aristocrat. Yeah, so we the two the two iconic soda soda pop pop whatever wherever you're from and what you call it are going head to head this month. And if they we, increase their dividend though, bro, what is Pepsi about to become? They're about to become that dividend king. They are right on the doorstep there, so they are right behind Coca Cola. But we both own Pepsi versus Coke, and we what do. we love about Pepsi we versus do. Coke because Bert thinks young. Yeah. 
And no, it's not that, it's that diversified snack portfolio, those Doritos, those Fritos, and that wide ranging Bert brand portfolio. The, you know, he remembers the old bugles and puts them on his fingers. Yeah, that's how I eat them every night. Every breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, Pepsi, huge company. I mean, the Pepsi brand Gatorade. Yeah, we'll see that. Yeah, yeah the Super Bowl was the other day here, so. Yeah. I mean, Waterboy. <laughs> yeah, so their five year average dividend growth rate is 7.8%, so higher than Coke. What's their yield? Their yield is 9%. Yeah. Yep, so it's not that far off from Coke, but they do have that higher growth rate. So, man, let's see which one of these two come out head to head. That is why we love February. What, what growth rate are you giving Pepsi Bird? I'm going to go 6%, below average, but still higher than Coke. <sighs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking they're going to go, yeah, probably below 6%, probably in that 5 to 6% range. Let's, Let's find, find out. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Dividend stock number three on this list is Genuine Parts Company, ticker symbol GPC. GPC. The, so we, the Dog Pound Gangster, DPG. <laughs> yeah, they are actually. The Diamond Dallas Page, DDP. There it is. We, they're actually one of the longest tenured dividend kings on this Huge, list. Huge, long time. Yeah, 64 consecutive yeah. annual dividend yeah. increases. Insanity. That's right. What's the age of your mom, Bert? Slightly older, so looks like Genuine Parts Company will start cashing those Social Security checks next That's year. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 64 consecutive years for dividend increases of 5 plus percent five-year dividend growth rate with a current yield of 3.11%. Mm -hmm. Pretty good combination there. Yeah, and what I like about Genuine Parts Company is they just dominate that sector. Dominate. That they do. The secondary auto stunning. parts, yeah. That, I mean, that's something everybody has cars. Everyone knows how big of a pain in the ass cars are, they unfortunately. Suck. You're always making repairs. So what sector do you want to be a dominant player in better than selling all the parts Genuine to the people for the repairs? Parts. Um, now, Bert, they currently pay a quarterly dividend of 79 cents. So I have to ask you what your expectation is for the auto part company. I'm just going to say between 4 to 5 percent. It'll be less than their average slightly, but I mean. Yeah, you know, I think I think they'll get it to 83 cents, 4 cent increase. So yeah, probably around 5 percent. Yeah, I'm usually optimistic, but for some reason I'm not feeling that way with Genuine Parts Company. He's not feeling it. He doesn't like the brakes, you know, the rotors. No, it pisses me off when I have to change those. So. Sorry, Bert. All right, so that was Genuine Parts GPC, another expected dividend increase this month, Bert. So what's next? We're talking We're talking brokerage accounts here. Robinhood? No. Vanguard? No. We're no. no. <laughs> what? We're talking T. Rowe Price, ticker symbol T-R-O. Man, this is another one, though, Benny and I. Oh, shoot, yeah. Forgot the W. Ticker symbol T-R-O. Yeah, w. I don't want to mess up like last time where Church and Dwight we messed up, and that frustrated me. So T. Rowe Price, T. R. O. W. Bird owns them. I own them. Dividend aristocrat. No debt. They have a very clean balance sheet. That's why we like them. They've increased that dividend for 34 consecutive years, and they have been crushing the dividend increase game lately. I'm talking. They are sweet chin music, getting the crap out of the industry because they have the five. Band. Yeah, their five-year average is 11.7 percent. And bro, what do they do during the pandemic? They increased that dividend. They increased that dividend by 14 cents from 76 cents. So doing a quick little math here. Here um, one, add in a four. You know, they increased at 18% during the global pandemic. 18% increase during the global pandemic. We are yeah. now at all time highs. What, what is it doing to their assets and their management? Going up. We got, what are they doing with their fees? Going up. What does that mean? We'll see. Probably, a, I'm calling a <laughs> I'm calling at least, I don't even know, what are you going to call on this? Probably, I, I don't even know. It's just going to be high. I'm going to say a double digit percent increase. I'll it's just leave a it there. Minimum double digits. Yeah. I, I think they, maybe they stay conservative and kind of pad it a little bit for the next few years. They're going to go 90 cents to a dollar. Let's go with it. That seems reasonable to me. What do you think? Dividend stock number five. Man, we are rolling in the great companies here. Man, this is, we, we said there are some heavy hitters because you oh, can man. buy your Coca-Cola here, you can buy your Pepsi there. You can't open a brokerage account with T-Rail Price yeah, there. You might, you might be able, able to find auto parts. Yeah, you probably can get some genuine parts company places there. This company, Walmart, ticker symbol, W-M-T. Oh, Look, I got that ticker symbol right, everybody. Walmart. I'm back, baby. So, Bert, do you own Walmart? I do not. And this, don't you this company Walmart? frustrates me from a dividend perspective, Why? despite the fact that the stores are always packed. Carts are filled with stuff when you go into it. Yeah, you always have to try to find one in the parking lot and disinfect it yourself. Yeah, and it's, I mean, 
a lot of there, but what drives me insane about Walmart. It really ooh. fuels Burt's eBay sales though. It does, that is that is true. Ticker symbol eBay. <laughs> we talked about them in the last video. Yeah. In case you were in there, but what drives me nuts is their low dividend growth rate. It actually really pisses me off. Their wow. five year average growth rate is 1.96%. Almost 2%. Almost 2%. They, but wait, they must yield pretty high, right? <laughs> no, they don't. What do they yield? Yeah, isn't their yield? Well, it's, it's below the S&P 500 at 1.5%-ish at the time of this video. Come on, kick so, them back to the shareholders here. Yeah, so at least 3M that just announced a terrible 0.68% increase has a higher than the average yield. That's so, not good either, but Walmart is negative in both those. So that's why I get so pissed off about Walmart. Walmart's a dividend aristocrat. They are. Yeah, we'll talk about the drill. I'm expecting them to have a 2% increase here. Just stay right in line. They currently pay 54 cents, so they're going to go to 55 cents. Yeah, let's just go to the next one because it's yeah. not going to be interesting. Yeah, AT&T, take note. <laughs> yeah, at least they're doing something. All right, so the next company on this list is Burt's favorite color. Actually... Their logo colors were my high school colors. Brown and gold. Brown. Brown. Oh, they do have a hint of gold. But yeah, my high school colors were brown and gold. But we're not talking about my high school here. We're talking about UPS. Ticker yes, symbol, the brown UPS. brown truck, baby. I mean, gosh dang it. Every time I see one of those trucks, I say thank you. Oh, nope, nope, I think one just passed us by. Because not there. only are they delivering packages to your door, but they're delivering dividends to your portfolio, baby. Yeah, and when I return an Amazon purchase that we don't we don't use, and then it says take it back to UPS, I say sign me up for that because I want to support my stock now, right there. Now that dividend growth streak really is building for UPS, and yeah. I'm very excited for them to really be crowned an aristocrat at some point. Yep. And they are working their way there. And again, they have just crushed it during the pandemic. And their stock price reflects that because who else would benefit from the shift from in-store purchases to e-commerce? Of course, the delivery company. The customers. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> the customers. Always about the customers. And UPS delivers them to those customers. Now, yielding 2.4%, knowing that they're a pandemic major player, as well as the today e-commerce player, what are you expecting from UPS? Because they crush, her, them and FedEx have crushed yeah. recent earnings. Yeah, well, let's see. Capital One just announced a 300% increase. So I think that's a reasonable baseline here. Um, so let's do that. And I'm going to go with a 8% increase. 8%, wow. What about you, Lanny? I'm, I'm sticking conservative. I feel like 2021's almost an even more unknown time period because it's like, how long will the pandemic go? So I'm going to call five cents. So about a 5% increase. Let's see. It's not going to be Capital One, though. Right. I hope yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Well, I hope it's not Capital One, to be honest, because that means that UPS cut their dividend. That's fair. Fair point. <laughs> All right, Bert. So that was UPS, another big company expected to increase their dividend. We got more. In the words of Scary Movie, but wait, there's, there's more. more. Home Depot, ticker symbol, Home HD. Depot. My God. Gosh, there are some big time companies up there. Yeah, <laughs> Home Depot, Home Depot. Yeah, man, they are. We can't, we can't keep the dividend increases from flying in here, and we're not even covering all of them because there's still a full week of February increases that are already. You a Home happen. Depot guy or Lowe's I am. Guy? I am a Home Depot. He's guy. a Home Depot. He likes the orange. Yeah, I do. It's my favorite Cleveland color. Brown, brown yeah. and orange. Brown, Bert. That's, yeah, that's there it. it is. I would take brown and orange over brown and gold every day because okay. imagine those uniforms. But Home Depot is also on their way to becoming a dividend aristocrat, and they are, they've are they increased for 11 consecutive years. Nice. This growth rate's insane. 20.5% for their five-year average growth rate. Not bad. You get a 20% raise every year, right? Yeah. No? Yeah. Well, Home Depot can oh, do that for wait, you. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Home Depot's right in there. So what is Home Depot's current dividend yield? Yeah, Home Depot's dividend yield, 2%-ish. So think about that. That coupled with Great a 20% factor. dividend increase. Awesome factor. Bring it. Ginormous factor. So, you know, they pay $1.50 per share per quarter. 20% is their average. So you do the math. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, you think they're going to do a 30 cent increase per Maybe. quarter? Maybe. I think they're going to go from $1.50 to $1.75. I don't think they're getting up there to $1.80. Wow. What still about huge. you? That's yeah. still huge. Um, I'm going to go conservative. I'm going to go to $1.60. Man, I guess I'm just in a good mood today. I'm feeling good about these you know, dividend I'm not increases. trying to be pessimistic, but you know, even with 10% or a 10 cent increase from 150 to 160, that's a 6.7% increase. Yeah, I like it. I hope you're right again. Yeah, I'll take it if, uh, it, if I am right. So last, 
Last. But definitely not least, we're just going to go to some company that nobody's ever Bert's heard of. It's favorite theme song. That thong, 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 thong. Yeah. Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO. You know, the old tech is trying to fight the new tech, and Cisco, I think, is just a solid cash flowing business. Yeah, they were one of our favorite stocks that we were watching and buying at the end of 2020. That for, pandemic stock. Yeah, for good reason. Everybody's using them. Network security is more important than ever, and companies like networks. Yeah, you don't want to leave that hanging, especially with everyone working remotely. Yep, it's all great. Webex so. is yet to fail for me. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it is consistent. Might not be the most user friendly, but it gets the job done. And Cisco, they're going on how many years now, Bert? Nine years. Nine so years. this should put them in the double digit mark Almost right there. Bert's age. Yeah, we're getting there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, so their five year average growth rate is 11.7%. I don't think they're going to get that this year. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling more. Intel just did what, 5.6%? Was it 6%? Yeah. I don't know why I'm feeling Cisco is going to fall right around that range. Yeah, I'm calling. They currently pay a 36 cent uh, per share per quarter, yield about 3%. I'm going to go with a one cent increase about three percent wow all right i'm a debbie downer over here I you apologize. are yeah well let's see what maybe this will bring some optimism so you can be in a better mood for the march one and get those higher yeah please please bring me more dividends than what i'm expecting yeah i'd appreciate that so yeah you'd really appreciate it yeah I um, <laughs> on that note let's so summarize yeah, this is the summary yeah. let's summarize company number one coca-cola company two pepsi three genuine parts company Four, four T Row Price Group. What about five, Bert? Walmart. Uh, not Target. Walmart. Six. UPS. Seven. Home Depot. Eight. Cisco. There we go. Eight massive companies, most of them dividend aristocrats, set to increase their dividend this month. Yeah, I told we told you. We warned you going into this. It's gonna be a heavy dividend. What month. dividend increase are you most looking forward to? Leave it below in the comments. Now, if you have a different viewpoint on Bert's expectations are my expectations. Let us know in the comments what you think these companies are going to increase. Yeah, clearly there's going to be room for somebody to fall right in the middle. Or we were I'll be right every time. Or I'll be or right, every, be right time. every time. We'll see. So again, please subscribe to the channel if you don't follow so we can keep bringing you dividend news. Again, this is Bert and Laney from the Dividend Diplomats. Over, Over and out. out.